I'm a, just to tell you all, I'm a very bad driver. Um. If we survive. Yeah, I was actually driving a car full of, um, people from Syria and Greece, and they were just like, Manya, we didn't leave Syria to die in your fucking car. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> hey. Alright, do I put, put away? Yeah. Yes. Okay. My friend, do you know the restaurant, Papu? Yes, I know. Can you come there now? Walk there and I meet you there. What do you need? Everything. Everything. I have just this. I'll talk to you then. Okay. We talk to you. Okay. okay, so this is stuff we picked up from Zagreb and brought here. It's just basically donations. Um, that was all of this stuff. We will unload this. Yeah, so inside we have all men's stuff, mainly small sizes. Um, yeah. I'm gonna open the warehouse. And then... Oh, yeah. My name is Manya, I was born in Macedonia. We immigrated to Australia in 1995 when I was two years old. So I lived my whole life in Australia. I finished university, um, came to visit family and friends in Macedonia, which was in 2016, and then went to work in volunteering Greece. And then I went home for a year, and now I'm in Veliko Klavusha, mm -hmm. volunteering with an organization called SOS Klavusha. Mm. So yeah, we bring stuff to the shop from here. Shirts, um, pants in different sizes, some medical care and products. Okay, so we're basically preparing food packages for people that are living outside of official caps. Rice, oil, pasta, gas, for, um, cooking, lentils, sugar, salt, normal sort of stuff, tomato paste. Yeah, we will probably buy some vegetables and give them also vegetables. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So we have to buy. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go open the car. You need it. This all stuff. Yeah. A lot of these people have been on the move for a really long time um, without access to very basic services. Even medical services are compromised. They are all in one big space, open space, no privacy, which is really psychologically debilitating for people to be so long without the ability to take five minutes for themselves. There are not enough uh, showers or hygiene facilities. They said that they were teaching people in camps about hygiene. UNHCR doesn't need to teach refugees about hygiene. They need to provide hygiene facilities for refugees. Okay, I think now turn the camera off. Turn it off. Put it down. Quite a few projects running. Um, they have a restaurant which is now, it used to be a form of pizzeria. And then when he saw that refugees were coming and they were hungry and without food trying to make it across the borders, he opened it up and now it's a community kitchen. I was in the restaurant in Latin, who seven years old for the and the and the and the and the I drugo se nastoram, prilikom dolazka srve godine u februaru izbjegljica ono se mi granata. U februaru ja sam počeo pružiti ustovi njima i onda sve gosti su dvoglični, neki su zabijeli, neki su pred, pa su onda otkazali u stoprinjstvo ovog restorana, onda je mi nastavljeno jedan šansa da dijeli rano za ove napisjene godine. Zvezda Skopja, a ja zvezda Kladuše. 
Znači, što je bitna stvar da smo za ovih 11 mjeseci podijelili 158.000 obroga. Ja i moja ekipa. Znači, ekipa broju četiri člana, to su moji gosti koji su meni priključili kada sam počeo. Znači, moji stalni gost koji izdala s kod mene, ostali meni vijeni, sad mi onda to radimo, pružujemo i oni pružaju sa mnom osim. Znači, gosti moji. Recently we've opened a free shop. At the bottom of the restaurant you go downstairs and it's nice, people can come inside and choose clothes instead of being handed stuff without any form of choice. Znači, kravcu dato, sve, gore je hrana, žao mi što ste zakasali, da je danis do jedna svaki dan ili hrana. Everyone starts with 35 points, and then they, like, they go in the shop, and they get to choose based on, it's like a cash system, it's kind of like having money, and then depending on what they need the most, or what they want to have, or what they find, they get to choose. Yeah, you can't give everyone everything. People are going to miss out no matter how hard you work, how many days a week. If you don't respect this shit, then finish. I mean, it's a tense situation. There's snow outside. People don't have shelter. They don't have... They sleep in cold environments. They don't have clothes to change into. Their shoes are broken. Their socks are wet. Like, it is tense. An Algerian guy died in Slovenia because he was escaping from police and he jumped into a river when he couldn't swim and drowned. The Slovenian police then got him and wrote his friends, they, who informed the police that he drowned. They put numbers on them so they didn't even try to identify them, number one, two, three, four, five, pushed them back to Croatia. In Croatia they were all beaten and then pushed back to Bosnia, where they told us about their friend who died. As a citizen of a rich country, being white, I have a responsibility if there's something wrong, if I feel to do something, as what, what I can. We have one of them. Another one? There is already one? Yeah. In Greece, 60% of the funds are misused. There's nowhere to trace where the money is going. In Greece, they calculated in 2016, if they divided all the funding between all the refugees, they'd have 14,000 euros for each person to get. The situation shouldn't exist. There should be safe passages to seeking asylum. Border militarization, all it does is kill people. Clones are not the solution. It's sadistic. Europe is sadistic. Says Narodu, probudi se svašta se rešava, žal je koj prespava. It says, hey people, wake up. Ever, look at what's, ever, so much stuff is happening. Um, and it's a shame who, like, sleeps through this, but in... Bosnian it sounds very nice, it's like a poem.